Shopify has released a new feature to grow your marketing list. This new tool is called Shopify Forms and it is completely free. Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here. So what can you do with Shopify Forms? Well, you can quickly create branded pop-up forms for your online store. You can choose when and where the form shows up with page targeting and timed triggers. I was surprised to see that it also includes exit intent features. For example, when a customer is trying to exit your page, the pop-up shows up and it even integrates with ShopPay. So buyers that fill up the form will automatically be signed into ShopPay, reducing the steps on checkout and boosting the conversions. All right, so this all sounds very promising. So now I'm going to show you how to access this feature and we're gonna create a form that will automatically send an instant email to the customer when they fill it up. So let's get started in three, two, one. All right, guys, on the description of the video, I'm going to leave the link to access the Shopify forms. It is free, but you need a Shopify subscription. It doesn't matter which plan. And if you don't have Shopify yet, I'm also leaving a link where you can get a free trial and then three months for only $1 per month. So once we download the app, we will be able to find it on the apps section of your Shopify backend. And it will be this one right here, forms. As you can see, I already had a form installed because I was testing it and it tells you how many submissions you got. You know, of course the completion rate and you can even get segments of customers. You can of course edit and everything, but let's start from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is delete this form. And now we're gonna create a form. This is what you will be greeted with when you first open the app. On the left, you can do all of the customizations and on the right, you can see a preview of how it's going to look. You can offer a discount when people fill up your form. And I always tell you that you always have to offer something in return for a customer's information, for their email, their phone number, whatever it is, always offer something. In this case, we're gonna offer them a 10% discount. So we're gonna click on select discount and we're gonna choose one of the discounts that we previously created. So add discount. Now let's go to the teaser section. The teaser is a little pop-up that appears on the website, normally on the corner, that when people click on it, let me show you. So right now the teaser title is 10% off. So this is what will show up. And then when people click, then they get the pop-up, all right? So let's put something a little bit more clickable, right? Get 10% off. All right, and we're gonna show this to the customers before the actual form. I always recommend you to do this. It's good practice, especially on mobile, right? When you're browsing a website for the first time, you don't want a huge pop-up interrupting what you're seeing. So this case, if we click show to customers first, then only a little thing will show and they can close it or open it, okay? So let's go to the next section, which is the actual forms. Get 10% off custom DTF transfers, sign up and get early access and discounts to our products and resources. Perfect, this is how it's gonna look. We're gonna ask for first name. We're not gonna ask for the last name. Ask only for the most basic and necessary information. The more stuff you ask for, the less chances that you have of customers completing your form. And what you really care about is the email. You could even just ask for the email, just like that. But I actually want to ask for the first name because when I do automations, I like to refer to them by their name, like hello, the name, and all of that. So I want that information. We have the button right here, and then the disclaimer. By submitting your email, you agree to receive marketing emails. Okay, so everybody that signs up is gonna go to your email marketing list inside of Shopify. You will be able to access all of your submissions and everything. Right now, after filling up the information and clicking on submit, they will be prompted by this pop-up with the discount that they can just click and it will already be applied. But we don't want to do this, okay? We don't want to offer the discount right away because we don't know if they put a valid email address and we want to force them to actually use their real email. So instead of this, what I'm going to do is go back up here and I'm going to remove the discount because I don't wanna give them the discount here. The success message will be, thank you, check your email. We send you an email with your 10% discount code. Now, if they didn't use the real image, they're gonna have to refresh the page and try again with the real information. Right here, you can choose the styling, right? The colors of the form, the background, all of that, and the position on your store. So by default, it's on the bottom left, but you can put it anywhere you want. You can even put it rotated, just like that on the corner of your website. And if you click on show more, you have the typography section, 
right? You can change it to whatever you want. Now let's move to the behavior, okay? Here's where you choose where you wanna display this form. So you can choose desktop, mobile, or everything, okay? I'm gonna leave it on everything, all devices. Then you choose if you wanna display this on all of the pages or only on specific pages. For the trigger, I'm going to select display on first page view. Now, here's the thing. Normally, I will put second or third page view, but this website right now, where I'm putting this form, it's a website that all of the traffic are gonna come directly to the product page and they don't need to exit that page for anything. They, there's not a catalog, there's no many products, it's only one product, so they might never leave that page. So I wanna show it to them. But if I was putting this on a website where people will visit several pages, I would put it on the second or third because I don't wanna be annoying. You know, the first time they see the page, it's already a pop, oh come on, that's extremely annoying. But I'm going to put that it waits for the maximum amount of time that it allows me 30 second delay. I will honestly prefer to display the pop-up after 60 seconds. But anyways, the pop-up, remember, is gonna be like very, very small. And then if they click on it, it goes big. So that goes in tune with what Google is now forcing people to do. If you're not aware, Google is penalizing pages that display pop-ups that obstruct the view. So this is actually compliant because it's very small, so you will not get penalized in rankings because of having this thing. Now, the final thing that we need to add is show form when visitors attempt to leave the page, okay? This is the exit intent. So let's just save this for now. We still have to do the automation that sends the email automatically with the discount code, but let's just see how this is looking. All right, so we're here at our page and now we just have to wait a little bit for the pop-up to show. Um, so people is browsing, you know, they're browsing, whatever. Let's actually go to the uh, product page to see what they will actually see. All right, so they are here, they're browsing, blah, blah. And boom, it just popped up right here. So when we click on it, we can fill our information and sign me up. But this will of course give them the success message, but they will not get any email. We actually have to create the automations to instantly send them an email. If so far you're getting some value out of this video, please give me a like, I will really appreciate it, and subscribe to the channel, but only if you want to sell more on your online store. If not, just ignore this. <laughs> Let's continue with the video. To do that, we actually go back to the form right here, and at the very bottom, we just click on create automation. There's other ways that you can access this just by going to marketing automations. I have plenty of videos showing you how to do a bunch of really cool automations, but this one is extremely simple because we're gonna use one of the pre-made automations and it's gonna be the welcome new subscriber. So click on it, let's use workflow. So the trigger for this automation is start when the customer subscribed to email marketing. And then it's gonna check if the customer didn't subscribe at checkout. How bad will they feel if they just paid full price and now you're giving them a discount? You know, you wanna do a different type of automation for when people subscribe on checkout. The email will be different. You will tell them something like, thank you for your purchase, and here is 10% off on your next purchase, okay? But you can just, you know, send them this one. Once it checks the condition that the email subscribe method was not equal to checkout, then it's gonna go to the next step, which will be the send the marketing email. And this is a marketing email that Shopify pre-built for me, but it looks super ugly. So we're gonna change it a little bit by clicking on edit email content. For the subject, we're gonna put welcome, and then we're gonna use one of these magic tools here, and we're gonna choose first name. We have this information because we asked it on the form, so it's more personal. Welcome, Steven, here is your discount. Preview text, get 10% off your custom transfers today. And of course, you know, uh, editing the email is pretty simple. Let me just do this really quickly. Boom. Welcome, we're happy you're here. Here's your discount code. So we're gonna click on the plus sign and select discount. Now here, we're gonna select the discount, all right? It's gonna be the 10% off. Let's just make it a little bit prettier. Okay, so welcome, the discount then the main product, okay, then a few links, all right, so a few products, and that's it, that's good. So let's click on save, and the automation is done, so we are ready to turn on the workflow. 
turn on good so now let's go back to the website here let's just go to the home page now we have to wait 30 seconds for the pop-up to actually show all right so it showed up let's click on it let's put our email there and sign me up so thank you check your email so now let's do that and it is right here it was instant and welcome alejandro it captures my name here's your discount so let's open it up boom there you go um, apply discount and of course now the discount is applied and i can purchase the product with the discount so everything is working perfectly if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i will try to help you out now watch this video because it's about e-commerce and i know you like that stuff thank you thank you thank you i'm out